Hey everybody, welcome back to Beckley's RV's YouTube channel. I'm Mike Borum, Sales and Marketing Manager with Beckley's. Been here for a long time, done a lot of hookups. What we're gonna do today is go through a hookup and an unhook on a fifth wheel hitch. Now, as there's as many different trucks out there in the world, short bed, long bed, and on top of the different types of hitches like uh, Reese, BMW, and Super Glide that we use, there's a lot of different scenarios here. So this is just gonna be a basic overview of again, how to safely hook and unhook your fifth wheel. All right, so you've arrived to your campground and you're ready to unhook your truck from your fifth wheel so you can start your long weekend of camping and enjoyment. All the weight right now is on the truck, obviously. So we need to drop your landing gear to start raising up the fifth wheel so we can safely unhook without any slipping or, or, um, or driving with, with, your, with your vehicle, your tow vehicle. As I mentioned before, this is an overview. There's gonna be some scenarios. You have either electric or you have hydraulic. In this case, we have a pin with an extension on the legs. If this is the fifth wheel that you have, or I should say the landing gear that you have, you wanna drop at least 10 to 12 holes and the reason is, is once you've got the top section that the power section is extended all the way and you still need to get some height, you're kind of out of luck. So you wanna to try to use some of this, not only for leveling purposes left to right, but also so in case the, you know, the fifth wheel perhaps settles a little bit in the ground, you have some extra adjustment here with the electrical part to get it up and get your truck underneath. So we have the landing gear down on both sides, just touching the ground. If, Depending on your process, once you're out of the truck, we highly recommend to chalk your wheels. Because if you have a little bit of terrain, things are gonna move. And you wanna try to keep the less pressure off the legs, the front landing gear, from moving back and forth. So again, ideally you wanna chalk the tires. Again, once the landing gear has touched the ground, what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the fifth wheel up off the hitch and take the pressure off the truck. At this point, what you wanna do is if you have an assistant, great. If not, it's gonna be yourself doing this. You might have to start and stop. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the fifth wheel hitch, or excuse me, the fifth wheel up off the fifth wheel hitch and watch for some separation. So again, so we know the suspension has kind of come back to, the, to this normal position and the full weight of the fifth wheel is off the truck. Right there with that separation between the fifth wheel head and your kingpin plate once you see that separation then you know the jaws has gotten to a, a middle area and taken the pressure we've taken the pressure off the hitch and the jaws himself so at this point what we can do is we can unlatch you'll have your safety pin on pretty much most of the fifth wheel hitches we do want to make sure that we release our breakaway cable this of course, naturally we're gonna separate the truck and fifth wheel and don't want that to, to pull out. And on, again, on select models, sometimes you have a pull handle, sometimes you have a swing arm. In this case, with the BMW, we have a swing arm to release the fifth wheel and the hitch. We have our sta standard tailgate here. Obviously, you wanna lower that so we don't have any accidents or boo-boos. Most vehicles, we uh, wire a seven pin plug in here so it doesn't drape over the, the tailgate and run the risk of losing slack on a turn and pulling the plug out. So that's again another reason why we're dropping the tailgate to undo your, your seven way uh, wire. So we're pretty much done. We're, we're unhooked as far as from the kingpin. Now the time is just to move the truck out and away from underneath the fifth wheel. All right, so it's time to hook up the fifth wheel and your truck. Obviously, we're a straight line here. If you're not hooking up in a straight line, what I want you to do is back the truck up. And prior to hooking up, you're gonna put the truck in park, hop out of the vehicle, and just look at the positioning of where your fifth wheel hitch and the kingpin meet. Not only do we need to worry about the height, but we, again, we need to worry about the positioning where that kingpin is gonna come in between the jaws of your fifth wheel hitch. All 
right, so we're gonna make sure the fifth wheel hitch, or excuse me, the fifth wheel kingpin is high enough for two, two reasons. Obviously to clear the truck bed itself, but also to make sure that not only the kingpin, but, or the, the, kit, the pin box, but the kingpin is high enough to line up with the jaws of your fifth wheel hitch. So what we're gonna worry about, again, is not only the positioning left to right, but we're also gonna worry about the positioning of the height of the kingpin to lock into your jaws. If you're a little bit high, no worries, the, the, the jaw is gonna wrap around the bottom side of the kingpin. Worst case, you might have to release the, the handle and go back at it a second time. If you're too low, what will happen is you're potentially just gonna hit your fifth wheel hitch and obviously then end up uh, not hooking up. The right height is essentially going to be where the plate of the king pin box is coming to meet the top of the fifth wheel plate. So what we're gonna do right now is make sure, again, you got the positioning left to right, you've got the height, and ultimately make sure that your jaws are free and clear if you have a spring loaded where they need to start open in order to hook up. I'm gonna hop back in the truck and we're gonna back up and watch, the, watch it in action. So at this point, what we have is we have the jaws, the teeth, however you wanna call it. The cla it's clasped around the kingpin best safe practice for you to do before you do anything further at this point is come around back like I am and look to make sure that the jaws have fully 100% wrapped around that kingpin so you know it's clamped and ready to go. In this case we've achieved perfect height. We can go back, hook up a few things, a few items and get our legs up. We have a seven pin uh, plug here on, on this vehicle inside the truck bed. So we're gonna go ahead and plug that in at this point. Make sure your safety breakaway cable is somewhere that you can access it on the side of your truck bed. And we can go ahead and raise the tailgate. All right, this particular model has a handle, our safety pin, and again, all fifth wheels obviously will have your breakaway cable. We're gonna pin this up get our safety pin in. Again, if your model has a safety pin, if this safety pin does not go through both, both areas, it is not fully engaged or fully, I should say, fully locked. So don't go pull away. But again, we were a straight level, perfect hookup on the first try, we got our safety pin, pin in. We're ready to get the legs of the fifth wheel hit, or fifth wheel up and uh, get on the road. All right, so we have the fifth wheel safely hooked up to the, v, uh, the truck now at this point. Landing gear is down. All we have to do is retract them and we're ready to roll. All right, so we're all pretty much hooked up at this point. You wanna remove any wheel chocks that you might, might have been using. Best safe, safety practice again is to use wheel chalk so nothing slides on you and just fights the, the fifth wheel and the kingpin uh, uh, locking in together. But we're pretty much, we've got our safety pin in, we're hooked up, we're ready to hit the, hit the road. So don't forget to like, comment, and smash that subscribe button for Beckley's RV's YouTube channel. <laughs>